and good afternoon everybody thank you very much for joining me and i'm just going to change the title at the bottom of the screen because this is not telestones this is what's it called super skill super pinball. skill pinball there you go live editing Nothing thank you very much for guys. joining me uh and this is a play along at home so if you want to play along at home with this uh, there are links in the description of this video on youtube uh go online click on those links and we are going to be playing uh, there's four tables included in the game uh, and carnival see what they did there carnival car uh -huh. carnival see what they did carnival there. we're going to be playing first uh, and then we're going to be playing cyber hack both of these files are available so that you can play along at home um and yeah so this is not a sponsored video however uh i am going to be doing a sponsored video for this game a proper tutorial and playthrough of the of the game at the start of October, we're going to be playing through on the Dragon Slayer pinball table, and it's going to be me and Jeff Engelstein, who's the designer of the game. Okay, that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks' time. Right now, this is not a sponsored video. This is me and Rick, and we're going to learn how to play the game from the rulebook. I haven't actually read the rulebook yet, so the the other video that I do will be a lot more professional, uh, <laughs> um, because I will I will fully know how to play the game. This one, we're going to be learning. Did you play pinball? I've played pinball before. I used to be a big pinball player. Yeah, back pinball in the, wizard. Back in the eighties, I was. Uh, yeah, right. So it's going to be another. Uh, it's going to be an unboxing video. I, I know it has dice in it, so I've got the dice tray. Shiny. Let me just uh, resize that window there. So we do get pens. We do get pens. We got the dice and balls. Sort of and half the balls. balls. Half balls. And it's up to four players, and you can have multi balls. So I think there's eight of those. But yeah, we need a. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Uh -huh. Wet, wet, whiteboard, whiteboard markers. Um, nice. We'll get white the balls thing. out. And we'll just put them to one side. Um, we don't need, we don't need this. You could right. almost use that as a dice tray. You could, you could use that as a dice tray, couldn't you? In fact, that might be why they've. Not clever. Let's use that as a dice tray. Sorry, Jason, who gave me the nice dice tray. We're going to use this one. There you go. So yeah, if that was intended as a dice tray, then then great. Now we're actually going to be using the dice for this game. However, in the chat is Ori. Ori has written a tool which is available on BGG, uh, where you can actually, um, yeah, it will it will roll the dice for you and it will keep track of them all, so that um, people can play this game remotely and use the same set of dice rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that okay. is available. Uh, I'm not using it for this game, but I may use it for the one that I do with Jeff. Uh, later on uh, for the herd said no warcrafter ever what's that from warcraft yeah but where for the horde you said herding cats oh did i once, right one okay. on your once you're loading oh yeah 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 it? right the rule book rule we have a quick start so we have a quick start guide ah. and we have a rule book well let's go with the quick start okay quick start this is a quick start guide for super skill pinball these rules introduce you to the beginner's table, Carnival. For more details and rules questions, refer to the rule book. Okay, so we're going to try and play straight from, straight from this and see if it's possible. And yeah. if we get stuck... Yeah. 30 page rule book as well. <laughs> goal, compete against your friends or play solo. Either way, your goal is to score as many points as possible and the symbol for victory points is a star. Okay. Setting up the game, all players share one copy of these rules and two dice. Each player needs two ball tokens. Thank you. Um, one dry erase marker and one copy of the carnival table and back glass. So back, not that. Back glass. Carnival. Ah, so that's the table. And that's right. Okay. Ah, so these are double sided. Yeah. Oh, with cyber hack on the other side? Yeah. Got it. There you go. So I've got, yeah, I've got this and this. Yeah. Okay. Back to begin the game, each player fills. It's not telling us how to set them up, oh, but we can see here. So that goes. goes a bit like that. It's supposed to go like that, but I think for the purposes of this video, if you put yours there, and I'll put mine there. If we shuffle it along a bit more. There you go. That kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah. Back yeah. glass, because it's like a pinball it's, it's table. It's like that. It's like yeah. a pinball table. Yeah, that would be like that. Right, okay. So that's there like that. 
Um, you only need the stars on the back glass. Okay, right. You only need these. Oh, so you could actually do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's do that then. That works. Yeah. Okay. See you a little bit then. I was yep. about to get my glasses. It's a bit far away. To begin the game, each player fills the round one circle on their table. See plunger on the bottom right of the table. Down here. Okay, so we fill in the round one circle. Okay, done. And if you are playing along at home, do the same. Uh, place one of your ball tokens on the arrow at the top of the table, labelled start. Okay. How to play. A complete play session is divided into three rounds. In each round you will take several turns. Players are independent of each other, so your choices may result in your game being longer or shorter than your opponent's. Step one, roll the dice. Do you want to roll? Both of them? Yep. A player rolls the two dice. If you're playing a lot at home, we have a six and a two. Uh, tip, choose the designated roller. Helps to keep the game moving at a nice pace. Right, each player chooses the value of one of the dice to use for their turn. It is okay for players to use the same dice. Okay. The same die. So, independently, we each choose which one we want to use. Right, step two, move your ball token. Move your ball token to a feature containing an unfilled box mm -hmm. that has your chosen die value. Usually, you must move your token to a lower zone. Note, the carnival table is divided into four zones denoted by dotted lines. One, two, yeah, so four zones. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, choose a feature, move your ball token to a feature containing an unfilled box that has your chosen die value. So if I was to choose six, I'll put it there. I think so. Step three, fill in a box. You must fill an empty box in your token's new zone. Okay. The box must correspond to your chosen die result. Some boxes show two different die faces, for example, Ferris wheel cars. Yep. Um, the whole box is filled if they match your chosen die result. Okay, so we could choose the oh, six. Oh, I see. Choose this feature. And get half of and, it. No, all of it. Not if both dice match. That's not what I meant, no? The whole box is filled if they match your chosen die result. So I think that it, that's, a, that's a five or a six. I see. And I think it fills the whole feature. Okay. Uh, okay after all yeah. players have taken their turn, roll the dice again. End of round. The round ends if you can't legally fill a box or if you fill the boxes on the out lanes, which is the outer one and the outer six. Over here? Because your ball goes out? I guess. One and six. So if you fill the boxes on the out lanes, then erase all the boxes bordered with dashed, dashed lines. These are all dashed lines in the bottom here. Right, okay. End of game, the game ends at the end of the third round. Third round, right, okay. So the zones of carnival. Uh, from the start arrow, move your token to the Ferris wheel zone, although you can choose to drop lower. Okay, so from here, the first zone is here. Yeah. Uh, and in the Ferris wheel zone, when you fill all three Ferris wheels, you earn a skill shot, as I explained on the next page. Erase the cars if all three are filled. So yeah, a five or a six fills the car. Yeah. Bumper zone. Filling a bumper box is worth one point. Erase the bumper boxes if all 12 are filled. You may keep your token in this zone on the next turn by filling another bumper box. You may not stay on the same bumper. You may only move clockwise to the next bumper. However, if the bumper bonus is active, you may also move counterclockwise. Okay. So you. So if I roll a four, I can go there. If then I roll a five, I can go there. If then roll a one, I can go around. there. Boom, 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 boom. And you can keep doing that round and round. What was the rule they said? Clockwise, unless you've got the bumper bonus active. Is this down here? And when all 12 are filled, you erase them. But each time you fill one, you get a point. Where do we mark our points? On here? Our I po points, I assume, get marked on here. Yeah. Skill shots are important. If you fill the six, you fill both boxes. Yeah, okay. Target zone, which is here. 
Uh, filling a target earns one point. So it's these duckies mm -hmm. and balloons. <laughs> yeah. um, when you fill all three yellow targets, you earn one of the yellow bonuses. I see. This is how so we get each target is worth a point and you get the bonuses. When you fill all four red targets, you earn one of the red bonuses, which are all explained on the next page. Then erase those targets. Okay, so fill in all of those three, get one of those. Fill in those four, get one of those. Uh -huh. Right. The flipper zone. Each flipper has three boxes that you can fill to keep your token in play. In addition, there are two inner lanes with a two and a five. Yep. Uh, you may move the ball token through this lane, score two points, then immediately move the ball token onto the flipper without filling another box. The yellow flipper sends your token back up to any feature coloured yellow or white. The ferris wheel, the bumpers and the yellow targets. The red flipper sends your token back up to any feature coloured red or white, which is the bumpers, the feet of strength and the red targets. The out lanes have a one and a six. If you fill one of these, score two points for each filled red or yellow flipper box. Mm -hmm. Then the round ends. So keep the ball up, like a pinball, yeah. So if you go down the two, mm -hmm. you get two points, and then what do you do? You can flip up back up to a red location. Okay, and if you fill in one of those, you can flip up to a, a location as yeah. well. And then once you go down that side, you get a points per what these are filled in, per filled red right. flipper box. Okay. So you can either focus on doing all of them and then all of one of them. Right. Depends how lucky you get, I guess, with the rolls. So, skill shots. When you earn a skill shot, circle one of the numbers beside the ferris wheel. You may have multiple skill shots circled, but you may not circle a number that is already circled. A skill shot allows you to use any circled number instead of a die result. After using it, erase the circle. Okay. okay. Feet of Strength is here. Uh, this is a special zone that can only be reached from the red flipper. Yep. Yeah. Each box in this zone must be filled in sequence from 1 to 6. Each target has a different point value, ranging from 0 to 20. Erase the Feet of Strength box sees when you fill all 6. Then the token falls from here to the target zone. So you can't go straight to 6. You've got to go to 1. Then you've got to go to two, you get a point. Then you go to three, you get a point. Then you go to four, you get two points. You've got to flip it all then five, it up then six, and then you erase them all when it's all done. But you can only flip up there from the red thing. Yes. There's one, two, three, four. There's five ways of getting up there, yet there's six results. It's a good question. I don't know. Nudging. When we start playing, Adam will tell us that we got it all wrong. Eric's here. <laughs> Hi, Eric. Uh, he tried his last week. Nick's here as well, a lifelong fan ways. of pinball. There are more ways. Right, okay. Nudging. After the roll, you may change one of the dice to a different number if you want. This is called nudging, but be careful, you may tilt. I remember when tilting Tilt's came in. Cheating. <laughs> before, before tilt came in, that you were <laughs> nudging the pinball tables all the time. So to nudge, fill in one of the double line boxes. Oh, down here. Yeah. And write the difference between the new and the old numbers in the large nudge box. Okay. Note that the die is not actually turned or changed for other players. It only affects you. You can only nudge one of the dice, not both. You can use skill shots in addition to nudging. And if you've used all of your nudge boxes, you can no longer nudge for the rest of the game. Nudge boxes are never erased. You may not nudge if it makes you lose the ball. So you cannot nudge a five into a six and have it go down the outline. Okay. Um, you may nudge to avoid losing a ball. Yes. And you may not nudge to avoid a tilt. For example, if the roll was a one and a three, but you really wanted a four, you could nudge the three into a four. You'd cross off a nudge box and you'd write the number one. Fill two feet of strength right, spaces. Okay. There it is. Tilting. If you nudge, then you may tilt on the next roll. If the difference between the two dice results... If the difference between the two dice results is greater than or equal to the amount that you wrote in the nudge box, you're okay. Erase the number. But if the difference is less than the number, you've tilted. The round ends immediately for you. Erase the number that you wrote in the nudge box. You cannot use skill shots to avoid a tilt. And if you tilt during a multiple, you lose both multiples. 
Okay, so didn't it say that you don't rub out the nudge numbers? Earlier? You don't rub out the nudge boxes, but you always rub out the nudge number. Right. Okay. I would suggest we read the bonuses when we get to them. Okay. Um, but the Still lines, going. the three different types of lines, a solid line means you erase it when all the boxes of a set are complete. Okay. The dashed line, you erase it at the end of the round. Uh -huh. And the double line, you never erase it. So these double oh, lines yes, here, these, ones. these here, you never erase them. Right. Yeah, because you only get the bonuses once. We're good to go. Who designed this game? Jeff Engelstein. He designed many, many different styles of games. He's a great guy. He's very knowledgeable. He's intelligent. And I've had him on the show years ago. Um, yeah, just look up Jeff Engelstein's games on, on Board Game Beat. You will find that he's done a wide variety of games. Right. So, two and a six. So you can go lower, but you probably don't want to. No. You probably want to go... Move from the top down, really. Yeah. Can, you can't, can never go higher. Unless you flip up. Unless you flip up. At this point, you can't get lower. So. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to... I'm gonna. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, Jeff here? Yeah. Oh, he is. There <laughs> you go. What was I saying? Yeah, five and what six. What was I saying? He's very intelligent, very smart, and, and a good games designer. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's what I was saying. And he arrives, just like that. <laughs> so we're done. Do we move that to there? We do, don't we? Yeah. Right, okay. That's what it is. So and then... to roll again? Yeah, roll again. Four and a six. So it has to come down. Yeah, it's got to bounce sideways. So I'm going to come down to here, and I'm going to... Well, only one of the things happen here. Yeah. Well, that gets a point. Yeah, I'm going to go... Yeah. Yeah. Scott's saying that he's going to design a few print and play boards. There you go. Good on you, Scott. If that is not what you said, I put you down for designing your own boards. Right, next. Yeah. Five and um, one. So. Ah, so I can move over to five. Because I chose the other one. Yeah. Okay. And you can move over to one. That's another point. Oh, yeah, another point. Ding. Oh, you're lucky. So I can go there. Because I can't. Lucky. So, so right, the name of the game is Super Skill Pinball, <laughs> all right? Skill. Skill from the oh, dice. Not look. So I'm going down, though, but there's nowhere in here that I can go, is there? I have to go now down to the flippers. Or do I? can I hit these as I go by? I, I hit these, don't I? These are the four se sections. Yeah, look at the arrows. Target zone. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think you can go to a target zone. Any of these or these. So what yeah. do I want to do? Oh, I'm going to go for the four. And I, I do both of these, don't I? Because they're a matched thing. Yeah, let's go for the four and three. <laughs> yeah, so Jeff, I think I managed three times before I decided, I'll tell you what, I'll just, I'll just leave it open. <laughs> right, right. Off, we, off we go again. Off we go again. Oh, I, I forgot a point. Yeah, so I got a point for doing those. Five and two. Oh, you're so lucky. Bounce now. So I'm, 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 mine goes down. Okay. So. But you've done a two. I'll do the two. Here. So you score two points, and then it goes just to the flipper. You're ready to go up again. And now on the next roll, and go up to here or here, or here, because this is red yeah. and yellow. I'm just thinking, what happens if you didn't have a legal play? When? Well, we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay. More ones and twos, please. Double five. Oh, one, two, three, four. Was that a point as well? Yeah. Uh, no. No, I wasn't a no. point. I, I, I forgot to put that point on. So. Ah, so now I now have to come down. So I can go up here to this five. Right. Okay, so it's come down, went down there, and then you pinged it back up. Yeah. So it, these feet of strength, do I have to start on the one? So I have to roll a one to go up there. I take it you do. Because it's quite hard to go up there. Can only be reached from the red flipper. Each box must be filled in sequence from one yeah. to six. Yeah. So you have to do the one first. So there's a double five there, so I went for that one. Yeah. Uh, that was another point. 
Jeff's been working on expansion tables, which is all we yeah. can say right now. So, Pinbot. That that was the pinball machine that I was completely addicted to in the eighties. I, like, I think it took pinball machines to a, a whole other level. I remember the um, Star Trek Next Generation one and the Adams Family okay. one and all those kind of things I had on the arcade on Hailing Island where I was born. Six and four. Well, that's not very good, is it? Well, you've gone with yellow, so I'm going to go red. So I'm going to I'm going to choose the six over here. So that goes over to here, and I go there. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down. And again. that's a point as well. It's having to remember to put these points on. And that's me another point. Grog's revenge table. Yes, let's have that one. <laughs> yeah, because if I rolled like, oh, I suppose I'm go that side, can't I? Yeah. Three and a four. So I've got to come down now. Oh, so I can either go red or I can go. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to go red because I want to finish that. So I'm going to do the three, and then that's there. Yeah. So possibly I should have gone yellow, but I want to go back up here first. Yeah. Because I haven't cleared out many things on there. I mean, you've wiped out some. Yeah. But a few. Still, still got a bunch open. Yeah. Six and a one. Now. So these are yellow. You can't get these from here. Oh, but that's a one. Feet of strength. Yeah, exactly. You can do feet of strength. Feet of strength. But then you go back down again. So I'm going to know whether to go up here first. Because I've got loads of ones up here. Because you can fill them up mm -hmm. and then erase them and fill them again. Yeah. Before we even we even go under, but feet of strength is quite good because I can get a fill two street of strength faces when I get that one. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going back down again now. Up to here. Oh, you went on the feet of strength as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'll go down to this row. Five and a four. So I'll take the four. Yeah, so I'm doing that way. Over to the four there, which nets a point. So that goes there. Yeah, four, which is a point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Five and a three. So we've got to come down again. Yeah, I'm going to go in here, take that five, which is two points. Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing the same. Because I've got both of those two pointers filled in now. Yeah. Four and a four. So I'm going to go all the way up top. Yeah, I was going to do the same. <laughs> so flip, bing. Followed by four and a four. So I'll come down to here. Down to that four. Uh oh, all my fours are filled in. I need a point. All my fours and all my fives. I need a six now. Oh, yeah, that's a point. No, oh, double one. So that means I have to go down, but it does mean I get that. I'm going to have that and a point. Right, so you've now got a bonus. I have. So we're going to interrupt the game and we're going to explain bonuses. Oh, I'm going to put my pen back on. Right, so bonuses are special effects that change the normal rules of the game. Uh, let's go through the ones that you've got. So you could have flipper pass active. Yeah. Okay, which is both red and yellow flippers can be used to hit any feature regardless of colour. Okay. What else have you got? Uh, multiball times two. Multiball. Place your second token on the start area. Hmm. Um, on the next roll of the dice, you must assign one result to one token and the other to the second token. You may not use the same die result for both. You move and get any bonuses from one ball token before you evaluate the second one. Um, for example, you can put one on a skill shot and then use that skill shot immediately. Multiball ends when you start a turn with zero or one active ball token. <laughs> eh? Multiball ends when you start a turn with zero or one active ball token. So you get any special multiple bonuses, multi ball bonuses on the turn. You lose one or both ball so tokens. So when ball one ball goes? I think so. If multiple, multiple is already active, you may not gain it again. 
and while multi ball is active, all points scored are doubled. Wow. What else have you got? Fill two feet of strength spaces. Uh, fill the next two feet of strength spaces and yep. score the points. So this infinite symbol with two points That's on it. That's not printed on here, but I guess you can take that as a bonus and it's worth two points. Whenever you fill those three. But do these, when do these, do these get wiped they off? Will, they will get wiped now. off now. So when you've filled all three, earn one of the bonuses oh, I've got a point. and then erase those targets. So I've got a point for filling it in. got two points then for filling all three. Uh, multiple key is that scores are doubled. Yes. Don't forget the bottom right of the sheet that explains which boxes erase when you lose balls. Yeah. So that solid box there erases when all of the boxes of a set are okay, complete. So I can erase all three of them. Surely that doesn't apply to the infinite. It's a solid box because therefore you can get, if you fill all them in multiple times, you get two points every time you fill all three. Okay. That's how I read that. Yeah. So I've got two points for filling all three. And then if I fill all three again, I'll get another two bonus points. Yeah, but that's not in addition to that, is it? Well, that, well, or I guess is it? so. It's on that ticket. No, it doesn't say that. Isn't it? No. You get one of these and that every time? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's not in there. Infinite symbol, you get two stars. You can always take that. Yeah, I think it's just, it's an option you can always take. Oh, what, instead of a bonus? Instead of a bonus, I think. Yeah. Infinite is always an option, but it's one of the four. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, so in a, which it's case, a fourth option. I don't want to do that, then. that's lame. Yeah. Take those two off. Oh, bonus points. It's down at the bottom. It's there. This bonus may be taken each time uh, instead of another bonus. Okay, it is in there. Yeah, it should have the symbol, the infinite symbol on it, shouldn't it? So you can yeah. indicate that one. Because that, these are bonus ones as well. Mm -hmm. um, right, what should I do? Should I go for the multi ball? That's exciting, isn't it? Multi ball. Because I might as well do that now. Yeah. In, instead of filling two things. Or do I want to fill two things? So therefore, I've got multi ball. When I get double, I'll get 40 points. <sighs> More chances of getting closer up there. Yeah. Yeah, go on then. Let's fill two things of that. So that is never erased. You nope. can only ever do that once in the game. Okay. And that's that, and that's that. And you score two points. Uh, yep. Okay, we're good. Right. Double six. No, I don't really have a choice. Yeah, I'm filling up my red section quite so heavily. It's going to go in there. Okay. A one yes. and a three. Oh yeah, that knocks me up there. Uh, no, this is red, isn't it? So, so I get a red bonus. I'm going up here for one of those. Oh, I get to read what the red bonuses do. Outlines doubled. Outlines are worth four points per flipper box instead of two. Um, it's good to end the game at that. Bumpers. I? Bumper scores are doubled. This stacks with multiple, or multiple, or three points. So, I I don't know. Bumpers sounds good, doesn't it? It's these, isn't it? Yeah. So you could bounce around a load of points. But you want to do that when they're empty, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to try multiple. Uh, we'll, go we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to take multiple. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's a learning game. It is. <laughs> so I want a three. A three. So I have to use both. I have to use one of the dice on one of them and another dice on another one. Now, that three, what this is, this has to come down. So I'm going to have to put the three there, which means I'm going to have to use the six for this. But that's okay. Getting you Which is okay, two cause... points? No. Oh, double yeah, two points. points. Yeah, double points. There you go. I think that's right. All points are doubled with your multi ball. Multi ball. Six and a one. That's okay, good so for that, me. That, moves that can bounce to, to there. Scoring me two points. With that, the one, which means this is the six. Got to be real, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a bit rubbish. Still a point. Oh, two points because you're multiple. 
Multi ball. That's a spicy multi ball. Okay. Oh, I'll re-roll that one. Five and a three. Okay, so that can go... Oh, I can't go round again. So I'm going back down again. There. For two points. And that's the three. And then the five goes down here. And then the Why did I go for that feat of strength? That was a rubbish idea. <laughs> right, next. Yep. Yeah. Five and a one. Oh. Danger mouse. Ah. So that five can go there. Let's go over there. Two here points. for the one. And the one. It's annoying because I'm not going to be able to fill them up very well. Go there. Which is two points. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to get up this feat of strength. One and a three. Good. So me up here. <gasps> get me a skill shot. So I just circle one of these, don't I? Yeah. Uh, do I what for the number I want? Yeah. Right. And you so you don't shade it in. You circle it. Yeah. What number do I want? Question. Let's go with a <coughs> four. So I think I think the one and has these, to be there. These wipe off. Yep. And the three has to be there. Your multi ball's good, though, isn't it? Which is two points. Netting you a load of points. Uh, don't forget about nudging. Correct. Completely forgot about multi nudging. Particularly when you have multi ball. So you can nudge the table to change one of the dice. Yeah, thank you. I had forgotten about nudging. <laughs> Good for trying to fill these in. Yeah. Or just keeping a ball alive. Because I'm running out of these now. Six and a one. Okay, well that one can go up there. Six going there. So I've got a skill shot. So they get removed. And the skill shot is basically at any point in the game you can use the skill shot to change a dice to that value. A dice to that value. Yeah. So I need a skill shot of four. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so that was the one. Then the six. Uh, going out. And it. Do I want the six to go out? Uh, nudge? Can you nudge it? I can nudge it, but what or can I Or use your skill shot? No, you can't because this one. Well, no, I can. Two. I can use the skill shot. Can you? What, even though it's yeah. already been rolled? we said that as an example. So I use the skill shot. I change the six into a four. So you can go on or that I could, Or I could nudge it. No, I'm going to use the skill shot. I'm going to use the skill shot. So that goes there. Yeah. Okay. Right, we're good. <laughs> Still alive. Still alive. Six oh, and a four. That's no good. Ah, oh, that's no good either. Uh, we go there for the four. Ah, oh, that's rubbish. Let me a point. Okay, so I'm going to put the six up there, and then this misses this section and comes down to there and hits a four, which is two points because of multiple. Okay. I better get a multiple on otherwise you'll be zooming ahead of me in points. But this is only round one. This is only round one. Two and a three. Oh, perfect. It's got to go there. So the three goes to there, which is two points. And the two goes down here, getting me two points double to four. Four points. Nice. One, two, three, four. So that's now that done. Come on, five and a six. Two oh, and two. What? Up we go. Oh, I can do the feats of strength. Which is two points. At least it's kept the die in play. But this comes down and it goes over here. For two points. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm keeping them in play quite a bit. You are. Multiple's last in a while. Well, I am, I am done with this now. Double one. This is now... Let's go in there. 
Oh, get me a point. <clears throat> so you can't shade in a number that's already been shaded in. Correct. So you can't nudge to six or one. And I, I don't think I can nudge. That's so the I, problem, isn't it? Because you've got both balls, they're filling them in quicker. Yeah. I think I think that is it. I think I have to send this one down and through now. here. And then more will lend because oh, you've only got one on, ball. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no, 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 <clears> you <throat> dashed is erased at the end of the round. So have I have I got this right, people in the chat? Uh, available in the UK soonish, I believe. So if I've understood this correctly, this one goes out here Fill and it's gone. In. I fill that in and I get four points. Now do you? Or do you get double? No, because you get two points per filled red flipper oh, box. Oh, sorry, yeah. Which is one, two, three, four, five. No, I think that's so one ten. box. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Does it include itself? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> two points for each filled red or yellow flipper box. What's considered a flipper box? I think these. Just those three? I think those are flipper boxes. I don't think that's a flipper box. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The, the chat will tell us if we're wrong. But so that's six points then. No, it's, two. It's, it's 12. So instead of, yeah. what did I take? I took four, so I need yeah. another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when does multi ball end? So now that ball's gone. Multiple ends when you, when you start, start a turn. A turn. So you've still got to move that ball. Yeah, and I have to choose the other one, and I have nowhere for it to go. So what happens when you've nowhere for a dice, nowhere for something to go? Does it just fall out? I guess it just falls out, but I don't remember no reading that. If it starts on a flipper, you may voluntarily skip a token. Yeah, the flipper boxes are just the three above the flipper. Right, okay, okay so we got cool. that right, thank you. Um, ah, your round ends if you can't legally fill a box or if you fill the boxes on the out lanes. So I, I cannot oh, you, legally fill in a box. And you filled... So the round, you nudge, can you nudge that to six? What? I, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it because I'm out anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to nudge that one into a six. So I write down the number five here. Yeah, I'm gonna. You've done one of I'm your gonna bang the table. Yeah, that'll give you another. And that goes there. But your multi ball is is still active. I believe my multi ball is still active. So and that gets 12? me another twelve points. Uh, you can't nudge and cause yourself to lose. Can't nudge the out lane. Uh, didn't they say something about nudging the out lane? I think it did, did, didn't it? Yeah. So we, we thought we found a loophole. <laughs> that sounded a bit too good. Sounds like somebody else has found that loophole. Nudge, you may not nudge to avoid a tilt. You may not nudge if it makes you lose a ball token. So you can't nudge a five into a six. So that okay. just falls out then. So it, get that. Yeah, so I, I cannot place that. So the round is over for me. So therefore I can carry on. You can carry on. That's the thing with the multi-ball, isn't it? It just wipes you out. Three. I'm not going to move on any further. Three and four. Shall I roll the dice to make it quicker for you? Yeah, you can do. So I'm going to go there, get me a point. Two and a four. Two and a four. Uh, okay, two and a four, and I'm going here. Yep. Then, yeah. Two and a five. I'm using my skill shot to two, one, and this into a four to yep. go here. Two points. Uh, yeah, and that means I'm up there. One and a three. I'm going here to fill this in. Get another bonus. Get another bonus. And you got a point for that. I did. Let's go multi ball. Okay. Two five, five. Five under two. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> nudge. I'm going to have to nudge that, aren't I? Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so nudge the five into a four. Yeah, which is only a, a, a nudge of one. one. Yeah. So you have to fill in one of the nudge boxes as well. Mm-hmm. Shantone fills that in. Um, and then that's a two. That's a two. Which is going to go there. Which is two, two points. points. Four and a five. So here's the nudge thing. Right. Tilting. 
on the next roll, if the difference between the two dice was greater than or equal to the amount you wrote in the nudge box, you were okay. So it's one, isn't it? So in other words, if those had been the same, you would have tilted. Yeah, but they weren't. Whew. So you now rub out that, and you're okay. Fine. Nice. Phew. But I'm running out of spaces up here. So this goes up to... Paul, erase boxes. The I ones... could, but I was going to wait till the end of the round. And we do it together. And this one going over to four. I have to go that side. Getting me two points. Or should I be playing? Start the second ball together. Yeah. Should, should, yeah. I, I thought we both started the second round together. Or are you it saying... did say about waiting, didn't it, in the rule book? Didn't yeah. It? it might mean that you have to wait or something. Maybe I should be playing my second round right now. You can be. You should be playing. Says Ori. Okay, right. So hang fire then. Can I carry on doing mine? Well, no, because it'll affect me. So what I, what I do, I need to rub oh, out. I suppose we use the same roll, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we use the same roll. So I should be rubbing out the dashed ones, which is all of this. Uh, That's it? That's it. And then I, I do round two. I see. And I'm here. Okay. Okay, right. Thank you. you Didn't realize. Simultaneously, but you just carry on. Right. So I'm on round two. You're still you on put round another four. quarter in or whatever. Yeah. Another 20p. Right. That's a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> so six is going to go there. Netting me two points. Mm -hmm. um, what was the thing you can't nudge to avoid losing? Uh, you can only nudge one of the dice, not both. Uh -huh. You can use skill shots in addition to nudging. Uh -huh. If you've used all of your nudge boxes, you can't nudge for the rest of the game. You may not nudge if it makes you lose the ball, so you can't nudge a five into a six to, a, to have it go down the out lane. Right. Uh, you may nudge... To avoid losing a ball, yeah, and you may not nudge to avoid a tilt. So you may nudge to. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do then instead is um the six is going down here. Yeah. And that's I'm going to nudge that one. A four to a six for there. Okay. So that scores you. One two three 12 six points. twelve points. Yeah. And he's out. And then I've nudged by two for next go. Okay. Uh, and that was two points, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Doing that one. Right, so your next turn, your got multiple up. is now gone. Yeah. And you My roll. multiple didn't last nowhere near as long as yours because no. I did it too late. You did yours early. And now you roll, and if the difference is. Two. Greater than zero two. or one, you've yeah. tilted. Yeah. What happens when you tilt? Uh, you end the round. You just end the round? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the big tilt thing comes up and it. It's yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not going many places, to be honest. Ready? Yep. One okay. out of five. So you can rub out the two. So I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, and then I'm going to one. Oh. This is a bit rubbish, isn't it? You can go to the... Oh, no, I can go over five here. Five and a one. That's you getting a new bonus and rubbing all them out. Yep. So I get two, four, six. So, um... I'm going to say that my bumpers are worth times two into the... Oh, no, that's rubbish. Uh, my outlane is going to have times two until the end of the round. So I'm now round two. Okay. Right, off we go then. Three and a two. Yay, that's good. I mean, that fills in. I get a skill shot. Uh, I'm going to take the. Doesn't matter. Uh, I did the yellow multiple, didn't I? You did. Didn't score that. Yeah. I want a two now. 
Okay, yes. two and a four. Gives me a point, yeah. and all of them are now erase. And get a point for that. Nice. Opening up all of those bad boys. And I'm going to have yellow multi ball. Yeah, multi ball. <laughs> uh, so that was there. I don't think you need to put them on the actual thing. You just need to put them in the zones, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Four and a two. Ping. So that can go into there. That's all there. I'm going to erase all of that. Yeah. And we get a skill shot. And the skill shot I'm going to choose is five. <laughs> That's what I've got. I need to the other dice there. And then this needs to be a four, which is going to go here and go on there. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, in fact, for this one, you need, you need to put it on the side where it is. Yeah. yeah. Five and a three. Oh, I can't get that. Ping, ping, ping. So. We raise all our dash boxes, don't we? Yeah. Five and a three, you say. Yep. So that's going to go all the way back up to the top, filling that in. That's the five, and the three is going to miss this area and come down and hit that ducky there. Quack, quack. Which is two points because of multiple. Uh huh. Okay. Two and a four. Yeah, excellent. Oh. So two. Two Interesting. Points. And the four is the red flipper here. I'm going here for this one. Let me a point. One and a four. Not the best. Well, that one can come down to there. Uh, and hit that lucky. No, let's go the other side. Two right. points. One. And this is a four. Can go, and it's red, so it can't go to the top. Um, and it can't go to the feet of strength, so it's got to go there. Which is another two points. Okay. Yep. Two to one. Well, that one goes there, and the two goes here, getting me four points. One, two, three, four. The feet of strength. Yep. If you fill them all in, I suppose you can't get them any more, can you? That's it. Uh, I think it. They're filled there. in, aren't they? Yeah, you raise them all when you fill all six. Okay. Five and a three. Okay, so the three can do the feet of strength. Getting me two Four, points. Two points. Doubled still. So that's yeah, the three. Good. And this is the five. Which can go onto the duckies. Quack, quack. Getting me two points. Fill in two. I feet of strength. I don't know whether I want to. Getting you ten points. No, yeah, I will. So two feet of strength spaces. <laughs> no, it's 14 points. I suppose you get both, don't you? Yeah, it's four plus nice. ten. So 14 points. Uh, three, all of that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Next. Next indeed. One and a six. Perfect. One and a six. That goes down there. That's getting me multi ball and two points. Uh, sorry, a point for that one. Um, multi ball. Okay, so I'm going to send this okay so i'm going to nudge that six into a five Ooh, don't and tilt, send it don't tilt. and send it down here <laughs> getting me two points or four yeah that's the six <laughs> oh, points you're suddenly ahead of the me. one uh this goes on here which is two points okay Okay, I've also got a skill shot of a five. You do, do you remember that? But I was, yeah, I was happy with the nudge. Five yes. and one. So the nudge is okay, didn't tilt. 
Um, it's down to five. It's going over to one, which is two points. Oh, that's a problem. So the one. The one is going to send that up to there. And the five is going to get nudged to a six. And he's going to come down to here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah, tilted. <laughs> End the round. Boom. So I got three and a three. That goes over to there. Let me two points. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that is awful. This one. Uh, I'm going to skill shot. Yeah, that is awful because that outline bonus active was active, is now not active. Yeah. Oh, I'm skill shotting that up to there, netting me ten points for five. That's terrible. Thomas is here. Hi, Thomas. You've just seen the most awful thing happen to me. <laughs> I just gave the machine a little, little <laughs> nudge, on, just a little tiny nudge. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. How am I doing for points? I'm at seventy. Eighty. Uh, You're starting again, yeah. Yeah, round three for me. Four to one. Yeah, I have that. Oh, yeah. I, I had a skill shot. Of a five. Oh, I didn't matter the tilt. Yeah. Tilt. So this one goes down here. So we've got another skill shot. Get me two points. Uh, and flip shot. a pass. And this one. It's going to be a two. Yeah, skill shot's going to be a two. It's going over here to a four. Oh. Let me two points. Scott's never tilted. Well, you've not played it enough. Remember to erase the last dash box in the right alley. Oh, thank you. Two and a six. Oh, I'm having a two. It's a point, and all of those get erased. He's going to the six. He's going to the two. Four and a three. He's going up here, filling that one in. He's using the three. He's going to the four there. Let me two points. Five and a three. Let's keep the fire going. He's going to the five. Let me two points. He's going down over here to the three. Let me two points. Catching up with that multi ball. Got that multi ball. Two and a three. He's going. Fly around these bumpers. Into this two. Let me four points. Mm -hmm. And he. Uh, I used the two, didn't I? So he's going over to this three. Let me two points. I've got flipper pass as well, so I can go over like. Okay. Oh, double one. <coughs> That's rubbish. Double one. He's going up here. Let me two points. He. Oof. Do I risk it for a biscuit with a tilt on this? Or do I just have this one go out? I wanted to get the six so I can get 40 points. Apparently, you said multiple without the effect. <laughs> multiple? Yeah. I wanted to get up there for 40 points. 40 points. I know. <laughs> Great. But I'm not going to get another multi ball either. No. Neither you are you? Nope. No. Neither of us are. No. So. Yeah, I blew my chance with my last multi ball and nudged. I'm going to nudge it. Okay. To a three. Okay. Putting it there. You fill in another, another nudge box. Yeah. Right then. <sighs> Living on dangerous times. That's it, isn't it? That's a tilt. Damn it. <laughs> so you moved to round three. Meanwhile, I got a five and a four. I will 
take that and put it here. Crap bags. Okay. Give me six. Nope. Four and a three. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> oh, I should have skill shotted a six. Then the, I could have done the, it. The ball is going all the way down. Is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> to wow. three. Because no, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> Typical. Five and a five. Right, back up here, get me a skill shot. Oh, I should have got a point for that. I'll put another point for that. Sorry. Get me a skill shot, and yeah, I'm taking the six as a skill shot. Yep. Daniel Solis is here. It was worth the risk. 40 points, the dream. Yes. Yeah. I guess 40 <laughs> points with a, a die is probably the most you can get. Mm. Oops. A one and a three. I'll have the one. <sighs> the point. Yeah. With the right numbers, you can keep going around these uh, these bumpers for a while. Mm. A one and a two. He says, and then stops. I'm going to take this two, two points. And I'm going to take, I'm going to do the same. Come on, six. Hey. Oh, well, I don't have to use my skill shot, but I was going to. 20 points. 20 points. So Snap. <laughs> I'm now at 117. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to be 111. There we go. OK. Oh, and there's all now erased, isn't there? Yeah. So you can do it all again. Yeah. Next up, a 4 and a 6. Cool. Going over here. Give me a point. Uh, I'm going to bring that down to here. Getting me. A point. Or do I want outline? Outline times two or bumpers times two? These are the bumpers, aren't they? Yeah. Let's go bumpers times two. Five and a six. Let's go down this route for the five. And two points. I'm going to go. Yeah, I will do the same. No, I won't. <laughs> no, I'm going to take the six and go here. Okay. Okay. Five and a two. Take the two and send it back up here. Five and a one. I'm skill shotting to a six. Getting me two points. Because my double. It'd be good to have bumpers times two and multiple times two, wouldn't it? To yeah. bounce around in there with loads of points and have them all cleared. So I want a two. Come on, give me a two. You know you want it. There's a two. Two. I'm going to take the two five points. and go down there. Two points. Well, I can't carry on. I'm coming out of here now. Six and four. I think I'm going to go back at the top with the six. Six and a two. Come down to here. Four and a one. Oh, there's the ball. Now I want a six. Oh, five and a one. Time to either then. That's annoying. Ooh. Ooh, this isn't good. No, this isn't good at all. So I can't do that there, and I can't do that there. I'm going to have to take the one and put it on here. Yeah. 
Four and a one. Back to the top of the four. Right, this one on here. The one. Five and a three. Oh, that's lame. Can do the three. No. Oh. So, I might actually want to skip this section because I've got the three and I need a three for this section. So I think I'm actually going to skip past the bumpers. Yeah. And I'm going to go to here and I'm going to fill that in. Yeah. Get the bumpers open and I'm later. Going to take the bumpers. Bumpers bonus is now active until the end of the round. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's circling. That's a good idea. So I've got that bumpers. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, well, five and a three. Well, I can't go there. No, I, I can unless I tilt. I'm going to tilt the three to a two. My last nudge, sorry. Not tilt, that's bad. Nudging myself over there, mm -hmm. which in turn gets me a skill shot. Yeah. Which I want as a six. But this might tilt you. Might. Might be game over for me. Okay. My last nudge. So you tilted. <laughs> <laughs> so god damn it, it and it was a six as well <laughs> so i can carry on playing can um so it's a double six so well you've already got more points than me so well, that's the end of that then <laughs> yeah but i'll carry on yeah um but a six is actually i lose the ball so which would be game over anyway i could use my skill shot but i've chosen the wrong skill shots Two and five. You can still do two. Where? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, skill shot of two to change the six into a two and go here. Mm. Okay. God dang those dice. Right. Need a one or a two. How about a one? Yeah, thank you. So, we go back <laughs> up to the top. Getting you another skill shot. Get me another skill shot. And this time I'll take a four or three. Four. Sure. Yeah. Four and a one. Take the four. Bumper bonus is doubled. Mm -hmm. So that's two points. One, two. And we're here. Five and a five. So it comes down to here and gets this, which is one point. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. <laughs> Double three. Okay, that's fine. Three goes onto here. Uh -huh. <coughs> six and a one. I'll go back up to here with the six, which is doubled. Mm -hmm. Three points. Six and a three. Get a three can thing. go down here. Flipper pass. Gets me a point. And well, I can either take flipper pass or I can take just two points. I think I'm just going to take the two points. Yeah. At this stage. Of the game. Five and a one. Skill shot it to a four. Skill shot it to a four. Come on, three. Five three. and three. So I get two points. And they all wipe out. And they all wipe out. Nice. Means you can bounce around here for a little while now. Yeah. Quite easily. You're gonna, uh, do you have to wipe them on the outer wipe with these? Yeah, now. Four and a four. <laughs> Not bouncing around. <laughs> I'll, I'll skill shot to a five. How funny is that? Of all the dice to roll. Get me two points. Five and a three. Ah, it's rubbish. <laughs> and let's take the three down here. Get me one point. And then, doesn't look good now at the bottom, does it? It's not looking good, to be honest. You haven't got any skill shots? No. One. You're lucky. So I send it off. Yeah. Yeah. Get so I get six points. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are done. We're I done. think we are done. Gosh, imagine getting up to the 600 point range. So 144. <laughs> yeah, 120. So there are a bunch of achievements. You're supposed to like, you can track your scores on the back of this, but there's yeah. some achievements as well. So for Carnival, uh, complete the feat of strength during a multi-ball is an yeah, achievement. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Complete feat of strength twice in one game. Nice. Complete 10 bumper boxes without leaving the zone. Oh, yeah. And okay. complete all 12 bumper boxes without uh, leaving the zone. So That's they, they the are the right. achievements yeah. for Carnival. Cool. It's very thematic. I feel like you're playing pinball. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know much about this game going in, but I had heard some people say it was thematic. Mm. And I'm always, no disrespect to Jeff, 
because this is nothing about Jeff, but I'm always uh, doubtful when people say a game is thematic uh -huh. because different people have different views on what's thematic and what's not. But this is really thematic <laughs> in, in my definition of, of yeah. the term. It, it feels like you're playing pinball. Yeah, it does feel like The pinball. rules of the game, and I always say this, that Flamme Rouge is one of my favourite thematic games because when you explain the rules of the game and when you are playing Flamme Rouge, mm -hmm. you think, oh yeah, this makes sense. You're getting tired, so you're getting weary cards. And this that. makes yeah. sense. Everything, just simple things from the ball moving down to the way that all of this works. The flippers send the balls in certain directions. In certain directions, yeah. And these bounce around in only certain directions. Yeah, it's very clever. Very, very, very good. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure those scores are not very good scores. <laughs> not. If you are playing along at home, if you've been able to keep track of our dice rolls, let, let us know what you scored. What time are we on? We're on 10 past five. We were going to play another one. Okay. However, this, has, take, hour, this so. has taken an hour and 10 minutes. So we're, we're not going to play another one today. Uh, the plan was that we would play this and then we would play Cyberhack. Um, do want to play again but we've got yeah. to go and have dinner and we've got to finish a game of Marvel Champions yeah. and then we've got to get a set up for the stream tonight so we're not going to have time uh, we do have a curry to collect in about 30 minutes so yeah, yeah. unfortunately we're not going to have time apologies for that um, do want to play it very enjoyed do it, want yeah. to play it again I want to try the other tables see what other things happen let's just have a quick look before we go at the other tables so the one look what you could have won <laughs> we were going to play cyber hack next because i i want to know are they on the other side of these boards actually yes they are i want to know if they feel very different or i mean the core rules are going to be the same oh okay this looks different okay. <laughs> wow yeah so let's just have Straight a quick away. look at cyber hack and cyber hack is similar. also available um online as a print and play as well so Let's have a look at Cyberhack. Okay, so there's, there's, there's similarities. Alleys. The start arrow launches the ball into the alleys. Uh, filling all three of these boxes allows you to circle a skill shot number. So that's the same. Yeah. Main bumpers, these operate as the same as Carnival, except that if you complete a single bumper, you gain a lightning bolt symbol. Ooh. Uh, you still only erase the bumpers when all 12 boxes are filled. The cash spinner, Okay, yeah. Your ball token can move from the red flipper through the cash spinner up the alleys. Oh, this. The ball never stops in the cash, it always proceeds up, up to the alleys. Spinners are explained further on page 15. Drop targets. There are two sets of drop targets, yellow hacker and red backdoor. Each target is worth one point. When either set is completed, you get to select one of the bonuses. It's five bonuses each. And there's lots oh. of different bonuses. Uh, erase, run and two lightning bolts, erase all run mini bumpers and gain two hacks. <laughs> this is run up here. Fill all to start a run. Oh, it's like a feature in this one. Okay. Do you get a, a run being a Flip feature? Past. Next cash times three. Your next cash spinner score is tripled. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that looks cool. It looks quite different. Yeah. <laughs> so the run, mini bumpers, set of three. I like the push you like nudging. I think that's a really clever mechanic. That is as really well. well done. I like that a lot. And the more you push it, the more chance you have of it tilting. That's Which really is good. real risk to risk reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there are four four included in the game. And the one that I'm gonna be doing um with Jeff on when are we doing it, Jeff? I can't remember. Let me have a look in my calendar. Because we moved it a couple of times. But it is in my calendar now for Let's just have a look. Monthly view. Pinball. 8th of October. So Thursday night, 8th of October. Uh, it will be a live tutorial and playthrough. Me and Jeff Engelstein, we're going to be playing Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is Jeff's favourite table. Um, this is not available online as a print and play. Dragon Slayer isn't. Only the first two are. Um, but that's going to be happening, um, yeah, on the 8th of October. But for now... Thank you very much for watching. We will be back in three hours time with Eclipse. So Eclipse, Second Dawn for the Galaxy. We're going to be playing a two-player game of that tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everybody in the chat. And we will see you next time. See you later. Cheers, everyone. Bye now.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.